You know how they say they don't make anything to last anymore? Well, that's true. Here we have a, a GE washer. And it's probably three years old, four years old at the most. And this knob broke off where the plastic piece. Used to, they'd make these out of metal. But, oh, everything's plastic nowadays. So it broke off. You can't get just that. you got to get the whole doggone part. So we're going to show you how to change this thing out and uh, get it back to operation again. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to get the model number off your washing machine. There where it says... Uh, I can get it to focus in here. Now that top number up there, that's your model number. And I went online, looked at various places for the parts using that part number, uh, I mean, excuse me, model number. And uh, the best place that I found that had the most reasonable price was AppliancePartsPros.com. Uh, they're not give me anything for this they're not paying me anything for this I'm just saying that they were uh, very cordial and uh, very helpful in placing my order and making sure I got the right part so I ordered it from them and here we go it's a genuine GE appliance part and, uh, and there's the part number on it there. W is in William, H is in Henry, 1 and 2, X is in X-ray, 10479. And that's your uh, load size. Basically it's a little diaphragm uh, unit. So we're going to take this thing apart and show you how to replace it. So on the back there are three screws, a quarter inch hex head, uh, are you going to focus or not here? Yellow, focus. There's one here, one in the middle, and one on the end. And it just takes a quarter inch nut driver to take these things off. So let me get them off of here and bring you back. Okay. We've got our three quarter inch hex heads out. And now we should be able to take this whole assembly and tilt it forward. Should have a little catch under here to hold it in place. Yep, I'll take two hands. Hang on. Okay, so to get this off, you tilt it forward, slide it just a little bit that direction, and it'll come right off. So, I mean, this is fairly simple here. We've got us a little rubber hose that we've got to pull off. You got a three wire connection right here that got to come out, and then to get this in here, let's see. Looks like a little latch. There's no nut on the front. Yeah, let me play around. Well, let me look at the new one here, and then I'll come back here and we'll figure out how to get that out. Okay, what you have to do is take a little screwdriver and just gently push down on this little piece of plastic. And then while you push it down, rotate this counterclockwise, and it comes right out. And then... Put our take our new one, and of course there's a little locking tab right here. So we'll take our new one, sit it in here, crossways. So we've got these two tabs here. It's got to line up in here. 
Then we push her down here, get her flush, and we rotate it until it snaps in place. There, and we're done. So we'll plug our connector back in. And our little rubber hose back in. Oh, I tell you, the way they make stuff nowadays. So then we line her back up. See the little slot right here? So you just drop it down in the opening. Get this side drop in. There we go. And then, before that lip, it's over there, you pull it toward you, like so, drop her back into place, and we'll put our screws back in. Now when you go to put these screws back in, do not use a drill, because this is going into plastic, and you'll strip it out real easy. Use a little handheld nut driver like I'm using here, and you'll... You'll feel it when it gets snug, but don't over tighten it or you will break that plastic on here. And then you have to buy a whole new piece here or JB weld it, super glue it or whatever. But now we got to do is put our knob back on there and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's move these goodies out of the way. So here's the original knob. There's the little piece of plastic that broke off, so just take a pair of needle nose pliers, grasp it firmly, and pull it out. And there we have that out. So now we can line up the slot here with the slot on the knob, just like so. Push her down, and so now you can set your load level again. So, like I say, uh, my hat's off to the uh, speedy delivery of the parts from AppliancePartsPros.com. And I want to thank them very much for reasonable pricing and expedient shipping. So, we've got our washer back up and running. And I hope this little video, if you have a GE and uh, you run into a situation like that, then... Like I say, I recommend uh, AppliancePartsPros.com as far as getting your parts from there. And because, like I say, they are reasonable compared to some of the other places, like I said. But uh, anyway, you know, if this helped, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Maybe I did something that uh, you professional repairmen out there that do this for a living saw something that. I missed, didn't do, or whatever. <laughs> but hey, thank you guys for stopping here at Randallology. I appreciate it very much. And y'all have a wonderful day. See you on the next one.